the manager immediately recognized me and helped me pick out a car and now we're on the way to customize it now I'm not gonna show you guys exactly what I got him until it's finished just know I'm pretty sure he'll love it I stayed there all night picking the perfect design and I just know he's gonna love it Did you see like a, like a, a switch in his mindset to go from wanting to do tricks and out wide and maybe not being as effective to being this ruthless goal machine? I'm saying some kids at that age would have would gone under. Gone gone under. under. He, he never complied with the defensive structure of the team. So actually you were tolerating him from a defensive point of view and then in an attacking point of view, he was erratic. He is willing to take risks and he has become a leader. And like you say, that transformation, his, his character is completely different as well, not just his performance. So he went from being somebody who was frustrating to someone who was absolutely exceptional. But he's got pride and he's got, uh, like I go back to all the time, an obsessiveness of being the best. And listen, he came as a kid, left him the best player in the world. I'm usually a busy guy, but the phone had been ringing all morning, and this is an off day. So I get up and go answer it to see who it is. It was a call from downstairs. They wanted to let me know that apparently my brother dropped off a gift for me, and it was waiting for me out front. So now I'm excited, and we got to go see what it is. As I come downstairs and walk out the door, I notice there's a car waiting for me. And I'm like, there's no way this car is for me. My brother left me a car? And it's wrapped in blue and orange, the color of my away kit for Real Madrid. He knows I love cars, but he outdone himself this time. I mean, this is not a regular car. This is a Hellcat Charger that he bought. How can he even afford that? We got to get in it. We got to drive it a little bit. Let's hear that engine roar just a little bit. So while I got some time off, I'm like, I'm thinking, why not take this baby to the track? Take it for a little spin, see how fast this thing could go. Here we are. Revving the engine, doing a little burnout, see if we can get a launch takeoff. Just listen to the motor of that Hellcat. And man, this thing is fast. So now that we're back home, you know, I got to call my brother and thank him for his gift. Maybe it was payback for the car that I got him, but I did not expect him to get me one right back. But as I go to call him, he never answered. Maybe he was busy. I don't know. You know, he is a footballer like myself, so. He has a busy schedule just like me. But I haven't seen him or talked to him in a while. Hopefully everything's okay. So welcome back. This is episode four of the James Wayne career mode. And it's time to charge up here. As you see, we got our charger. Now we got a charge up in the game here. Our first game here against Sevilla. We're playing on the right wing. You guys already know what it is. So, you guys are liking this series. If it's taking too long, make sure you like the video. Maybe you'll get it out faster. You know? 
But here are our match objectives today. We have a 7.5 match rating, get a 55% team possession rate, and avoid losing the match. Let's see if we can make that happen here with our first match here against Sevilla. See if James Wayne still has what it takes. Here we go in the fifth minute of the game, coming down the right side, doing some skill moves here, playing it into Benzema, but the ball gets intercepted here. We will have more than one chance. Here we go, doing a skill move on the right side in the 30th minute. What can we make happen? Playing it down to the right to Benzema, calling it back forward in the middle. But the defense is too much. Nothing much happening so far, but here we go. Right side is our favorite side. Here we go. Beautiful ball down the line, down the right side. Playing across into the middle, trying to find our striker. Ball gets deflected. Nothing much happening, but that can all change after halftime here we go after halftime coming down the right side of the field playing it back to me trying to take a shot can we take the lead here but goalkeeper makes a stop that might have been the best chance we had right there here we go 65th minute as you see me calling for the ball in the box waiting for it plays it to Benzema and I'm pretty sure that was a handball if anything can we get a replay as you see he clearly Hits the ball with his arm, clearly and intentionally. That's a handball, that's a penalty. That should have been an opportunity to score. But I don't even think I have the penalties on for handballs. But here we go, with another opportunity to score, staying on side here, but we should have kicked it with our right foot. And the goalkeeper makes a stop. And this right here has to be a foul right outside the box. No call, we did not score, no assist. A little slow start to the episode with a nil-nil draw to Sevilla. We were supposed to get a win, but we got the draw here. Next game we have here is against Real Sociedad. And like I said, we didn't do much the first game. Can we do something the second game here? Like I said, we have to charge up somehow, some way with a new car. We have our match objectives here. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm charged up. I'm ready to get to the game. So we're going to skip that. Let's see what we can make happen here. We're going into the sixth minute. James Wayne coming down the right side of the field. Doing a rainbow flick. Getting past the defender. Chest flick. A little nutmeg past the defender. Can we score? Can we capitalize? But it gets deflected. Let's take a replay. Look at the skill moves. Rainbow flick. Chest flick. Nutmeg, replay on the nutmeg, and this little touch right here, little Ronaldo chop, you know, trying to make some highlights for you guys here, but they don't end up in scores, here we go in the 35th minute, can we chest it down, can we get it to our teammate, and ironically, we get called for a handball, which leads to the possession to the other team, which I don't know how we couldn't get that last game, we probably could have got a win. Here we go after halftime here, trying to make something happen. Midfield down the right side, getting past two defenders here. Can we play a ball in or get into the middle? Here I go, pass it, see if we can make happen, but there is no opening. Real Sociedad's defense is way too much here. You know, passing around to our teammates, but they're basically too much in the box here. Can we get a goal off? And we lose possession here. It, like I said, it's not an interesting start the beginning of the episode but here we go finding our teammate here and we, we just could we just we just cannot score we just cannot score 77 minutes will we find the breakthrough that we need here great team play great passing by Real Madrid holding up play to find our teammates here we go with another opportunity here we go taking a shot and we get the first goal of the entire episode of the game we take the lead. That's Luca with the first goal. I think he might have subbed in for Benzema. I'm not sure. But hey, if he's subbing in for Benzema, getting the goal that we need, hey, I, I'll take him. We need wins. We need goals. That is the full time. We do take the win here 1 0 against Real Sociedad. Plenty of more opportunities there, but. You know, hey, also because of our poor performances in the last two games, we have now been demoted to being a sub, which also means we lost our team captaincy. 
and we're gonna have to earn that back now, of course I know I can earn it back by just doing training but I want to make it more realistic but here we go in our Champions League game here I'm coming off the bench for Luka Modric as you see Eden Hazard has already scored for us but but James Wayne is now coming off the bench so we have to try to put our impact and gain our spot back and those are our match objectives you can read them yourself I'm more frustrated that the reason well we can't keep our starting spot here we go getting past a defender 65th minute what can we make happen defense a little too much and if you guys watch my YouTube short you've seen this clip already this is where this is from check out this skill right here from James from James Wayne looking like Ronaldo in his Manchester United days looking for an opening doing some skill moves getting past defenders about to play a 1-2 calling back for it and we need a goal here James Wayne and it gets deflected by the defender what a highlight that would have been can we get a replay on that check out the footwork here one on the left side this is not easy just letting you guys know because they they take everything away from me but sometimes we get clips like this sometimes we can weave through the defense do some skill moves play a one two and we needed that little bit of space maybe i should have hit it you know near post that is the full time since we did come on as a sub you know we didn't have that much time to do much but we did gain our starting spot in the starting 11 there with our match ratings uh, with, with our match objectives at least so the next game we play we can actually get a full you know a full taste but here we go next game up against Atletico Madrid and playing this game nothing really happened so I'm gonna just sim through the game itself it's a nil nil game nothing happened no chances you know just letting you guys know that I played it I'm still in the star lineup you know but we gotta get through these games I'm not gonna sit there and make you guys watch something boring but here we go against I want to say Cadiz and this is where we finally gain our footing and we charge up now one of the weird things was I think that the settings were turned into the settings were turned on the settings were turned on to like the snow and I don't think it snows in Real Madrid or in Madrid I don't think it snows in Madrid at least I've never seen it snow in Madrid and actually playing this game was very hard because the snow is white the ball is white okay so it was very hard to see but we're gonna do the best we can here eighth minute let's see what we can make happen playing it to me in the middle we're gonna take a shot from distance and the goalkeeper saves it James Wayne back at captain takes a shot from distance almost Scoring the goal of the episode right there. Goalkeeper had to stretch out to get that. But here we go. 52nd minute past halftime. What can we make happen? Can we get the first goal of the episode? Taking a shot here. Gets the rebound back. And James Wayne scores the first goal of the episode. It took long enough. It took a snow game for you to call on James Wayne for the first time the entire episode we got ourselves a goal and it was about time well little, little rebound shot there you know goalkeeper still almost saved it tripped me gotta be a little careful we got fragile legs we finally got the goal we needed that makes it eight goals in 15 matches in La Liga here we go. Here we go for another goal. Here we go with the opportunity here. As we're playing great defense, I'm calling for it. I'm wide. And I take a shot to the left side. And we get two goals. One game. That is a brace for us. Can we go for the hat trick? Is the real question. Here we're coming charged up. Finally. James Wayne has found his footing back in the game. A perfectly placed shot. 
powerful to the left. Goalkeeper's not stopping that one. As you see, the manager is happy. Proud that he put me back in the lineup. Back as the captain. And we prove why we deserve to be the captain as we win 2 0 with both goals coming in the second half for me. Here we go. Next game against Getafe. Can we continue our streak of scoring? Let's see what we can do. Here we go. Right side. Going wide. Speeding down the right side of the field. Like I said, I'm charged up. What can we make happen? Playing the ball into the middle. Take a shot. It gets deflected. But it was a great opportunity there. Here we go. Another beautiful ball down the right side. As you see me. Speeding. What can we make happen? Trying to cut in. Taking a shot here. But Arsencio, I think, scores that one off the rebound. I'm just satisfied because the play was made by me and he was in the right spot at the right time. Just a little tap in. Makes it 1-0. 61st minute. What can we make happen? Holding up play, playing it in the middle to Benzema. Benzema playing it down to the left side. And we get a deflected shot there. Luka Modric with the second goal of the game. And we're on a run. Real Madrid playing with some enthusiasm, playing with some intensity. And now we have a 2 0 lead against Getafe. I don't think they're going to come back from this one. But the question is can we get our goal here? But here we go with another goal right there. And I think that is Federico Valverde with the third goal of the game. And that might do it right there. Getafe does score a goal, but there's no point in showing you the game's over. Here we go. Next game against Valencia. You know where we are. Same spot. Same position. We're still the team captain. What can we make happen this game? And it took all the way to after halftime for anything interesting to happen. Here we go. James Wade taking a shot here. But of course, one of my deflected shots gets put in as a rebound goal. We got Benzema celebrating with the team. Going to give you my thumbnail right here. As we do a team celebration, he has nine goals in La Liga so far as we do take the one nil lead against Valencia. Here we go, beautiful ball down the right side of the field. And I take a shot, and it gets deflected, but of course, a rebound shot from one of our teammates. That is Marco Asensio making it two nil. Now they do have a red card. They lost one of, the, one of their players, but we gotta capitalize. The question is now, can we get our goal? And here we go in the 63rd minute, playing some great defense there. And now we're on a run, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Just keep composed, and James Wayne buries it to the right side. That gives us our goal in this game. That makes three goals in the episode. We had to charge up. It's funny, I always forget that Luis Suarez is on the team. I always forget that. But you got to stay cool, you got to stay composed because one-on-one -on -one with the keeper can be very intimidating, but not at the professional level. When you're at Real Madrid, you got to make that. And there it is, 3-0 win against Valencia. This team is turned up. And now we have the finale of the episode here against Barcelona for the Super Cup. Now it's not the final of the Super Cup, it's just the game, the semifinals. And here we go. Fifth minute. What can we make happen? Taking a shot from distance. But the goalkeeper saves that. Here we go. Fifteen minute, 15th minute in the game. What can we make happen? Taking a shot. Wide left there. We will have more opportunities as you see our manager is encouraging us. Here we go. 20. Nice minute. What can we make happen? Can James Wayne get the goal? And the El Clasico takes a shot, bottom left corner. And we get the first goal of the game. James Wayne is back. That is four goals in this episode here. What has it been? Five, six, six matches? And we scored.
scored four goals. We had to turn up. I told you we had to turn up. As you see the replay of James Wayne sliding in in the left corner, bottom left, past to Stegen. Only thing is, can we keep the lead? It is 1 0, but it is also Barcelona. Here we go. Trying to add another goal to the tally. Look at this beautiful pass. Probably should have aimed bottom left again, but I went bottom right this time. Goalkeeper makes a save. 56 minute going on a run down the middle. What can we make happen? Try to get past the defender. And I overshot it. Too hard of a hit. And those are two missed opportunities. Let's not make it a third. Here we go. Going down the left side of the field. Doing a little skill move there. And we are getting fouled. I think that should be a yellow card at least. That was a dangerous tackle. Look at the replay. Look at the skill move of the hill flick. Who's pulling that off that smoothly? Come on now. That's got to be a yellow card. Here we go. 80th minute. Like I said, it's Barcelona. You can't count them out. And they score a goal to tie the game in the 80th minute. Like, I can't make this up. I think you guys might think it's easy for me because I'm doing skill moves and stuff like that, but no. They score too. And they take the ball from me every time I try to score. Here we go. 90th minute. This is exactly what I mean. 90th minute. I even stopped the music to show you how important this is. Barcelona scores. 90th minute. They score. There's no way we're, we're not coming back from this. Remember, I'm not a defender. I'm a winger, so it's not me. And look at the crowd celebrating. Everybody jumping on each other. You know, they know they won. I know they won. Poor positioning. You know, goalkeeper at that point can't really do anything. I mean, maybe he could have saved it. Maybe, but that's asking a lot out of the goalkeeper. So that most likely is going to do it. We lost in the Super Cup. You know, and Barcelona's going to the final. You know, hey, but what can I say? We, we charged up at the end of the episode. We started scoring some goals. We even scored a goal in this game. We just couldn't get the win. As you see, because I did not complete any of my objectives, I'm back at the sub. So I have to work to get that back up, either through training or I just play it out, you know. And which means also we lost our team captaincy. So you know how that goes. But... I do appreciate you guys for watching another episode of the James Wayne Career Mode. Hey, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you like the video, like it. Hey, I'm going to roll these out for you guys. I appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And peace. To the next episode. You guys have a happy Easter.